break this down and take another look. With this new Toyota, you're getting the style, the performance, and this amazing deal on top of all that. A win-win, as they say. That's money. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. Uncover the very best of British true crime, only on BritBox. You will hear evidence of extreme gaslighting. Help me, please. Are you taking me seriously now? BritBox. Stream the best of British TV. In SoCal, our communities are diverse. Unique. Sheba Turk, you're in my shop, and so are you, Paul Diano. Outrageous. <laughs> and totally us. KCAL News Mornings, in your community. Weekdays, 4 to 11. But I'm fun. Pat Harvey, weeknights, KCAL News. This is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. It is finally Friday, October 27th. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. Yeah, good morning. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. We made it. I'm Chris Longchamain from Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are the stories we're tracking for you this morning. He should be considered armed and dangerous. Communities in Maine still on lockdown and a manhunt still in full swing. We've got the latest and also what we're now learning about some of the victims. There was a gunshot. Everyone started panicking. Everyone went inside. Gunfire and chaos outside a local high school, sending two officers to a hospital. We're live in Southgate with how the violence unfolded. And four hydrants pulled out and stolen overnight. We've got details on the unusual theft and also look at all the mess left behind. But first, we are heading into a warm and windy weekend. Let's take a look at your next weather. Marina is joining us now in for Amber. Good Friday morning to you. Good Friday morning. And at the 6 o'clock hour, it is chilly. So just keep that in mind. You might need to grab a light jacket out there. Taking a live look at Long Beach, or actually we just changed it to the pier. It's looking pretty good. 55 degrees in Santa Monica right now. And we are going to be looking at cooler temperatures, at least below average temperatures, lasting with us through the weekend. It's not until next week that we get to those average temperatures. So we've got a little bit more time to enjoy what feels definitely like fall. 59 in downtown LA and LAX right now. 62 in Santa Ana. 55 in Burbank. 40 in Lancaster. 53 in Claremont and 50 in San Bernardino. So we're looking at anywhere upwards of a 12 degree temperature change from yesterday. And we've got two more cooler systems that are going to roll in before we start to have to deal with warmer weather next week. So low to mid 70s are ruling We'll have a few clouds roll in this morning in both the beaches and the LA and OC Metro, but overall a gorgeous TGIF, but I am tracking those winds that'll roll in Saturday night. That's all coming up. Alex, how do the roads look? Hi, Marina. Good morning to you. We are still dealing with the big rig crash on the 15 freeway through the Cajon Pass. This is southbound, uh, so we do have an update for you. They were able to move the semi into the center divider, so hopefully we should start seeing some in improvements hopefully soon uh, still dealing with a major backup so it's going to take you over three hours to get through the Cajon Pass uh, from the 18 to the 215 freeway so you can take the 18 the 138 or you can get off at Cajon Boulevard otherwise an overview of Los Angeles we're starting to see traffic pick up this morning uh, South LA the northbound 110 it's going to take you about 12 minutes from the 105 to the 10 freeway this morning. Back to you. Alex, thank you so much. Some main communities are still in lockdown this morning as the search continues for the suspect in Wednesday's deadly mass shooting. 18 people were killed, 13 others injured in the attack. Our Rachel Kim joining us now with the very latest on the investigation and the manhunt. Rachel. Yeah, good morning, guys. Authorities spent hours outside the home of suspect 40-year-old Robert Card, but left without finding him. Card is wanted on murder charges from the shooting, and police are warning the public that he could be armed Armed and dangerous. At least 80 FBI agents, along with Coast Guard members, ATF agents, and local police are involved in the search for suspected gunman Robert Card. Authorities say Card has been charged in connection to Wednesday's deadly shootings at Just in Time Recreation Bowling Alley and Shemenji's Bar and Grill in Lewiston, Maine. He should be considered armed and dangerous. Based on our investigation, we believe this is someone that should not be approached. Police say the 40-year-old suspect is an Army reservist and expert marksman who was recently hostile.